Hey guys, this is Sheetal here and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'll be showing you a quick, cheap and easy method to make a transistor tester. With this, you can check if the transistor is a faulty one or a good one and it can be also used to check if the transistor is an NPN or a PNP one. So it's very easy to make and this circuit costed me only 30 rupees. So before showing you how it works, let me first explain you with the circuit diagram. This is the circuit diagram of the simple transistor tester that I have made. You can see it's very easy and it has only few components. Here I have used a 270k resistor which acts as a biasing resistor to the transistor. This one's the push to on switch which I am using as a test switch. This is a relimate connector in which you place the transistor which you want to check. You can see that I've marked with collector, base and emitter so that it's very easy to place the transistor in it. These are the two LEDs in which I've used blue one to detect PNP and the red one to detect NPN transistor. This is a 10K resistor used as a current limiter for LEDs. Here is the 2 pole 2 way switch. In this circuit, this switch is used to find out whether it's a PNP or an NPN transistor. This switch does nothing but it reverses the polarity of the battery connected to the circuit when the position of it is changed. And I've connected this whole circuit to a 9 volt battery. You can also use a 9 to 12 volt DC power supply. So this is the circuit, just have a look. Now I'll compare and show you the schematic and the PCP that I've assembled. Here's the push to on switch that I'm using as a test switch. And beside that, I've placed the biasing resistor. These are the LEDs in which I'm using the red one for NPN and blue one for PNP testing. And I've placed the current limiting resistor here. This one's the relevant connector in which you place the transistor. Here's the 2 pole 2 way switch. You can see that I've marked NPN and PNP on it. And this is the 9 volt battery. Let me bring this PCP closer so that you can see it clearly. Now let's see how the circuit works. This is the relimate connector which I have used to place the transistor in it and you clearly see here that I have marked collector, base and emitter on it so that it will be very easy for you to insert the transistor with the correct pin configuration. Let me change the switch to PNP first and push the test switch. You see guys, the LED is not glowing. Now let's change it to NPN and test it. Yeah, the red LED is glowing which means that this is an NPN transistor. As I am pressing the switch repeatedly, you can see that the red LED is glowing. This is because the transistor is an NPN one and it's working perfectly. Before taking the transistor out, make sure to switch off the circuit. Now let's check another transistor. Let me take this one and place it in the relimate connector. While placing, check the collector, base and emitter of the transistor and insert it correctly. Let's switch it on. You see that the LED is not glowing in NPN position. Let's change it to PNP. Oh, the blue LED is glowing which means it's a PNP transistor. And this one is also perfect and working. The circuit is doing its job well. Now let's check this transistor. I've taken two faulty transistors from a PCB in which one is a short circuited one and the another one is an open circuit just to show you that the circuit also identifies faulty transistors. Now let's place it in the connector. You can see that the LED is glowing in PNP mode without pressing the test switch and even in NPN position the LED is glowing. That means it is an internally shorted and faulty transistor. Now let's check another transistor. Even this one's a faulty one. Let me place in the connector and show you. Here you can see that the LED is not glowing in PNP position. 
Now I am changing it to NPN mode and the transistor is still not responding to the test switch. That means it's an open circuited or a faulty transistor. So guys, using this transistor tester, we could easily find out that these two were good transistors in which one was PNP and the other was NPN and they were working fine. And the remaining two were the faulty ones in which one is short circuited and the other is open circuited. This is a very simple method and it's also time saving. I also have another method of testing a transistor directly on the PCB which I'll be showing you in my future videos. So stay tuned to my channel. So that was it for today guys. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed yet, just click here to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.